and Kingston sizing Garcia up for a chop. Let's take a look back at this during the break. Kingston, a very well-placed neck breaker on Daniel Garcia. That was a good one. That was a good one. It might have been uh, oh, 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 oh. the crowd felt that way. Yeah. <laughs> Don't celebrate, man. Get on him, buddy. Yeah, Garcia, I think it would have been better served. Jumping on Kingston in the corner. Smart. That works. That works by Daniel. Yeah. See three, four, five consecutive uppercuts. Garcia hits the oh. rope. A knee to the midsection. And now Kingston looking for the exploder. But Garcia hammering down with those elbows. And just once again targeting the ribs of Kingston. Abdominal stretch Smart. up top here. Really, if, if someone is having a problem with their with that wind while you're beating on that midsection, lower back. This is smart. And this has the, been the game plan from the get-go for Daniel Garcia, Ricky. He's been concentrating on the ribs, on the abdomen of Eddie Kingston. And I was going to say, you can't help but see that it's effective. Oh, Garcia! Oh. German suplex! Well, I think anyone in the Dragon Sleeper, Garcia counted. The far leg is hooked! Ooh. Counted. Good I'm sorry, Eddie up. could not get the Dragon in. And Garcia was quick enough. Go behind with a back throw. And especially, Taz, that that dragon sleeper, if there's damage done to Eddie Kingston's ribs, he's not going to be able to torque back well, quite yeah, as effectively. I, yeah, I think you're right about that, Excalibur. Also, the, he couldn't, just couldn't get that overhook on Garcia. was too fresh. was able to fight out of it also. Yeah, for a, sport, a sports entertainer, Daniel Garcia is a pretty good wrestler, too. Yeah. <laughs> Garcia, oh, look, just... <laughs> Stomping repeatedly. Great offense by Garcia there. That's just really focused, right? Just imagine if your breathing is difficult and then someone just starts bicycle kicking you while you're on your back. I mean, that sucks. You can't catch your breath. Oh. Kingston got the boot up and now the back elbow. Daniel Garcia of the Jericho Appreciation Society just got a knee across the back of the neck. Good job by Eddie Kingston right there. And Kingston. Can he load up that spinning back fist, that Oricon? If, well, yeah, if he catches you with that, forget about it. Back fist to the future, buddy. Oh, uh oh. Double. Let's go for a crab. Boston crab here. We're in Pittsburgh. Double leg, and now he got it. Garcia with a Boston crab. And not only does this affect the knees, it affects the lower back and the ribs. I'm telling you from experience, that hold is brutal to be in this late in the match. Now he's going. Except for a sharpshooter here, a Scorpion Deathlock. And Kingston immediately lunges to the ropes to force the break. You know Kingston's midsection has got to be all torn up, Ricky. He's, he's a gasping for air. These small pockets, these small moments that Kingston gets on Garcia, he is gasping. But Taz, a savvy veteran move there by Garcia, hanging on, making the referee forcibly remove Garcia. Yeah, it just pulls apart your, the, the, your opponent's joint and his knee even more. And it allows you to kind of cheat the five count, so to speak. Sure. These two men are very weathered, as you can tell. The, the chops have taken a toll. Oh! That'll wake you up. Oh! Oh, right underneath the armpit. Yeah, and that, that side of your body is going again now. Oh, got poked in the eye. Hey, by any means necessary. Kingston up! The Enzigiri. Caught Garcia, and now the exploder. Oh. Garcia sent for a ride. Kingston, though, slow to cover. One, two, no. Oh, man. Oh, good kick out right there by Daniel Garcia, showing heart. Kingston. Fist. Yeah, that clenched fist, that spinning back fist, the Oricon. He will knock Garcia's block off if it lands, but will it? Kingston may be telegraphing this a little too much, Taz. Yeah, well, but Garcia is hurting right now. I think Eddie is, is trying to find that, that energy. Oh. Went for a single leg, but didn't work. Oh. Kingston stepped over. Oh, back drop. Planted Garcia. Here it comes, that back fit. Boom. Boom. Kingston, the spinning back fist and the win. No winner of this match. Eddie Kingston. That was a hell of a battle by those two men right there. Let's take another look at this Kingston and Garcia. It was a back and forth war. 
but the message in this match by Eddie Kingston was whatever Garcia endured, Chris Jericho has 10 times worse coming his way. Yeah, I think that motivation was directed for sure to Jericho. Uh-oh, took his belt off here. Kingston Garcia's gonna, going to the woodshed here. Kingston going to lash. No, he's not. Look at the camera. Chris, I'm saving this whipping for you. This was just a message. Send it to your boss. Well, that pretty much sums it up right there. Direct message to Chris Jericho from Kingston using Daniel Garcia as a sacrificial lamb. Eddie Kingston sending a strong message to the Jericho Appreciation Society. 